What are you all doing? Well, today's topic is actually from a subscriber. Uh, the subscriber that got in contact with me wanted to know how do you stay safe on a bike? Step one for being safe. The car in front of me, he's texting away on his phone. I could easily lane filter here, but I won't because I've been watching him and look at that, he's moving inch forward every time and he just looks around and he just keeps moving and he's on his phone. And if I was standing in front of him, I'm a dead man standing in front of him. I'm pretty much I'm a dead man. So that's step one of staying safe. Well, there's five simple steps that I follow day to day when I ride a two-wheel motorcycle, a two-wheel vehicle. And these five steps actually work, I'll tell you that. And it's not steps that I made up, it's the steps that I've been using from pros who've been riding for 20 plus years, from the instructors that taught me when I went to get my license, and from also the intranet, like murder vloggers who have taught me on how to, ri how to ride safe. There are a lot of videos on how to be safe. This, I'm only answering this question because the subscriber wanted to see from my point of view. And I think I might add a bit of comedy in there, you know, let's see how much comedy I can put in there. I'm not really a very comedy person. I just make I just make I just make silly things up that make me look bad so people laugh at me. You know what I mean? I'm just a silly person. Very silly you, Curry. Very silly. So step one, like I said, if you if you can filter, because it's illegal in New South Wales to lane filter but you do find occasionally like the one I just said before he's texting away what do I do in your situation I wouldn't I wouldn't get in front of him because you can clearly see he was just he was just moving an inch and then looking up to see oh yep yep there it's still red I can I can stay and then moving another inch what the hell mate you don't do that you don't keep moving once you come to a stop you have to stop you don't just sit there moving it every like one single inch on your phone. What happens if a motor motorcycle rider was right there? And you keep moving, boom, you hit him. Slow speed slow speed impact is it's okay, you know. You hit him, he'll lose a little bit of balance, but like, you know, like, hey, what the hell mate? But what happens if he's texting away and then he thought a uh, light went green, you know? You know how you have a green arrow and the green arrow goes green and at night time these LEDs are goddamn bright just like ah oh, the sun the sun is in my face what the hell that's how bright they are um if you can see them clearly a day you can you can imagine a night they goddamn like a sun in your face so when they turn green the first thing your mind thinks is oh shit it's green i punch it what do you know motorcycle in front of you see you later so I usually try to avoid filtering at the front of the lights because I know there are cunts out there who will be on their phone. Sorry, no swear language. This is uh, there are people out there who would do that, who don't give a crap about other people's lives. They just care about their social life because apparently it's more important to them. It's apparently the world's gonna end if they don't send a text message. If they don't send a Facebook status, oh my god, I'm stuck in traffic. Oh my god, the signal lights been here since like five minutes. I just came here like five minutes ago and the signal lights still wet. Oh my god, bro, I need to send a text. Just, just put your phone away, all right? Like, just put it away. I'll, I'll take it for you. I'll keep your phone for you. I'll keep you safe. Give me your phone. Just, I'll, I'll put a sign up going, give me your phone. Well, I'm just going off topic here. Let's let's uh the first step avoid people with phones. Big thing. I'll go in more details with other stuff that, that you can use to avoid them. Next step two. Alright? Step two. 
wear your bloody gear. All right, helmet. Helmet is important. Helmet keeps you safe. Your brain, your body is made out of 70% or something like that water, and your brain sits in water. Pretty much, you need all that water for your brain. And your brain is just like a little squeaky muscle with a lot of complicated electricity gizmos that go in your head. We have electricity, by the way. Whoa, I run in electricity. <laughs> So you want to keep your brain safe wear your helmet guys i mean it doesn't just protect your head it also protects your eyes because seriously this road public road there's a lot of stuff in the road and if you're like behind a car like this you never know there might be a bolt or something on the road a bit of asphalt like they might have laid a new road and there's a bit of uh, you know gravel or something gets flinged off and doing it trust me i got hit by a rock and I was doing 60, okay? The car in front of me was doing 60. It doesn't look fast, but if you get hit by something at 60, God, it hurts. It bloody kills, and I got bruised as well. And I'm wearing bloody leather. It just went straight through. It looked like a bullet hole. It felt like I seriously got shot. And I'm pretty sure if I didn't have full leathers, it would have been really bad. It would have went straight through my skin, who knows? And it was just a tiny little pebble thing. One of those ones when they, you know, when they make a road and they have gravel everywhere They went over it on 60 Bang! One just went straight in there So if you're not wearing a helmet, imagine what damage it will do If it goes straight in your eye You know, you can even go permanently blind These, like, you have to be careful So wear sunglasses if you don't have visor in your helmet If you like ride dirt, dirt bike helmets, a lot of people don't want you know, Some dirt bike helmets just have the helmet but they have the, the face open so you want to get yourself like sunglasses or goggles like dirt bike goggles that that is real like you know it won't crack when something hits you at like 100 k's per hour or something stupid something ridiculous sorry so you want to be safe helmets good because helmets are made for extremely high crashes this engineerly certi uh, certified and engineerly test for impacts like at 100 plus like race, race grade helmets man those things they impacted at 200 k's an hour and that's what they are and yeah it protects you seriously it protects you and if you if you think like a helmet let's say um, a decent helmet the one I'm wearing it's a shark speed uh, it cost me around 440 dollars an operation on your head is not 440 dollars and it's not cheap it's bloody goddamn expensive and especially depending on how bad your uh, injuries are I mean brain damage mate if it's permanent that's it I mean I'm not saying you know I'm just saying the real reality shit happens but you need to be protected next big one wear gear as well helmet and gear biggest thing always wear them right summer day don't care you're protected you rather have I'm not saying touch wood if you come off and you're not wearing gear well you're gonna have a really nasty road rash depending on how fast you come off and I've seen a lot of images Wow it's it's horrendous people who don't wear gear and come off at a very high speed well they don't have any more skin I'll tell you that all the skin just just burns off because that much friction is going into your body that much G is going into your body it's, it's, your body can't take it we're very very um, agile people you know anything above a certain G your body just goes oh crap that's it it just goes that's it it just kills it so wearing protective gear like you know I'm wearing full leather oh well, actually the full body armor uh, I need. To, I'm still working on my pants. You know the pants. I am getting leather pants soon. Just need the dollars, which will be coming soon. So yeah, I'm wearing, and I always wear it. Doesn't matter how hot it is, I wear it because it keeps me safe. You just never know who's around the corner. So always wear the appropriate gear because it saves you. They're meant for high-speed crashes, so they will save you. That's the only thing between you. And the outside world you don't have airbags you don't have a cage around you like a car does you the 
only thing that's saving you from your bike is your gear and make sure you get the proper gear when you go out riding it's very important step three when you're riding I usually tend to sit closer to the uh, to the line to the right or to my left actually because in case of something suddenly comes in front of him and he starts braking I have a clear way to you know get away a safety plan always have a safety plan that's number five and also in number uh, sorry number three that's number three my bad number three always have a safety plan now I have a car next to me you can't see it in the camera if I tilt my head there you go there's a car in front of me I'll buffer him out see look I'm giving him this much gap so in case if he decides you know he, he didn't see me you know some people could be um, tired they don't, they don't know they don't know there's a bike there they sometimes they, don't, they forget to take their blind spot or someone is just arrogant who doesn't give a crap right like that guy there look at him I'm pretty sure he never checked his blind spot good example I'm getting really good examples in this topic eh? all right moving on moving on yeah so I'm buffering out of the way so I'm actually more towards the right now if you can see in the camera and look there's heaps of space there the guy in front of me is braking I'm keeping a distance I'm keeping a good three seconds maintenance distance because a bike my bike doesn't have ABS so I lock up I'm going all over the shop so if I have a three seconds gap I have at least time to engine brake and also stop at the same time for a safe for a safe distance stopping and if it's raining you keep a five seconds gap because trust me bikes accelerate extremely fast it doesn't matter what CC you ride that thing goes except if you ride a scooter I'm sorry I just have to say I'm sorry bikes accelerate like no tomorrow because the power to weight ratio is very tiny it's like, what the hell this thing look at this and tiny I can throw it around corners no tomorrow and it goes it's just I need to be confident at <laughs> throwing around corners so step uh, three, buffer, keep a safe distance, watch what's going on. So have a 365 degrees of view. I'm always checking my back mirrors because there's only two mirrors you have. I'm checking my blind spots. If you don't know what a blind spot is, it's when you look over your shoulder like that. So I'm changing lane, look over your shoulder, no one's there, change lane. Same thing, I want to change lanes there, look over the shoulder, no one's there, you can do it. You have to check your blind spot because they call it a blind spot because the mirrors you can't see them because your mirrors only have a certain range newer cars nowadays come with the blind, blind spot sensors that tell you if the cars are a blind spot with sensors in them or well, some mirrors have bigger um, mirrors where you can actually see the blind spot alright I'm changing I'm doing a quite a high speed so I need to check twice to see no one's coming because they, someone can be coming pretty fast down there good to always double check to see if it's safe to merge step four check your bike maintenance I mean I've had one incident where my chain maintenance was no good and my chain came completely loose so I was stranded because I didn't have the right tool so check your bike actually that's a that's a big one actually because you can look out for all these guys no problem but you got to look out for your bike first before you do anything so go in you know check your tires check if there's any any you know uh, nail or something hidden in your tire maybe it's not letting the air out but you know once the, the treads come off it'll start ripping the tire so make sure you find any any obstacles on your tire and remove it if possible or get a professional uh, to remove it or change your tire if it's really bad check your brake check your brake fluid see if, how much brake pads you have left um, and it requires changing check your coolant level check your oil level check your chain adjustment see if it's in the right right one not too not too tight and not too loose just right uh, loop your chain often keep your chain better living longer and it prevents rusting as well so that's very good chain maintenance very high maintain your bike wash your bike that's step four take care of your your pride and joy because if you take care of her trust me she'll take care of you because bikes also have a soul and their soul is this oh yeah visibility wear something that you're visible during the day and night some of the armors come with like reflectors in them so when a light shines on them they know there's something there 
right? Where, make sure your bike is visible, have your lights properly working, indicators working and everything, because bike is harder to see, because it's smaller and skinnier. And the drivers are trained to see car more than bike. So it's your job to be safe, all right? Ride like everyone's out there to kill you. If you think like that, trust me, you'll ride proper. Ride there like everyone's trying to kill you. Keep that in your mind. The guy in front of me, he was gonna kill me. The guy right there, he's gonna kill me. The van, the truck behind me, he's definitely gonna kill me. Ride like that. So that way you're a more safer and more alert rider. Wear, wear something, keep your bike highly visible. So people at least know there's something there, you know what I mean? There's something there, I better stop and like just have a closer look. Some people might not do it, that's why you keep a buffer zone. You see a car, oh there's a car. I don't know if he's seen me. I better slow down. I better, you know, give way just in case. Because you never know. So let's sum it up. First thing, proper gear. Okay? Proper gear. You want proper gear. I'm going to move some of these up and down, okay? I've said a lot of things I use, but I'm going to move it up and down so it makes sense more. Good helmet, good riding gear, gloves. Right? Keep yourself protected. Don't be lazy to make yourself visible. Right? Buy gears that will make you look visible at night and day. So people at least know there's something there. Step three. Keep a good buffer zone. Keep a good distance between cars depending on the weather condition. If it's raining, keep it even further distance from them. Because it takes longer to brake and there's less traction in wet roads. Keep a good distance. Number four, bike maintenance, okay? You want to check your bike, you know, keep everything in working condition, service it, do all the checks before going for a good ride, because in the end of the day, you want to enjoy a ride and not be frustrated with it, with breakdowns and other problems that you might be seeing. And number five, well, like I said, be aware of other drivers. If you think that driver is distracted, get away from him, don't be near him. There's no need for you to be near him. Right? And if it's safe to do so, you can tell him off to put his phone down or something like that. Don't get angry at him, just tell him to put his phone down and just point at your camera. They'll understand. If you have cameras, by the way. Get cameras, it's pretty safe. See, like that one, he took ages to change lanes. That's a very risky decision. And now he's just tailgating him because he's pissed off. Well, dear subscriber, I hope it kind of helped you. Uh, these are the five things I mainly go with. Uh, to keep myself safe on the road on two wheels so far it's working and I believe you and other people that might be watching this video uh, will also follow some similar pattern or some similar rules that you guys follow in two wheels and uh, ride safe guys stay safe out on the road and ride to enjoy ride to live that's what I say ride to live anyway I'm just going to sign out guys uh, that's all I got in stock hopefully it kind of helped you and it wasn't too deary but these are very good points that I follow day to day every time I ride